Hey, I, I want to explain why polycarbonate, why I decided on polycarbonate. And it comes down to this particular greenhouse. This was a greenhouse I built in 2016. And the reason I did it, I wanted to find out what the most optimal greenhouse was. It doesn't look like a greenhouse because the north face is covered in that weathered barn wood. But let me show you some of the ideas I did on this before, keep in mind, before I turned it over to the goats. So over there, I put in a rocket stove and that's the chimney that came out of it. And then the walls themselves are made out of two by sixes. And what I did on this was I insulated it with kind of a thicker rubber lined uh, material here with the mylar that reflected back the infrared radiation. Now that was before I turned my goats in here and the goats kind of laid waste to this thing. The other thing I did on the ceiling is I tried five different glazing types before resolving on, on uh, polycarbonate, multi-layer polycarbonate. The types I tried were glass, six mil polyethylene, as well as that cheap clear vinyl PVC from Home Depot. Plus I used some, some of that corrugated solid polycarbonate from Home Depot. And in my windy conditions, none of them worked. So when I did this, I actually lined the outside with glass and the goats broke all the glass. So I actually ripped it out and I haven't put polycarbonate back. But um, this was designed to be really efficient. Dug down three feet, put in this water tank, hooked up some batteries with a couple panels on top to circulate the water. And I used to have an aquaponics system in here. But the reason I'm explaining this thing to you is it was the process of building this that helped me personally understand that success for a wintertime greenhouse involves two fundamental concepts. One is architecture. So having your sloped roof to the south, as well as good exposure down here to the south, allows you to warm up in the winter as well as having an insulated north side, as I have here. The other thing that I learned was glazing makes an absolute game-changing characteristic to a greenhouse. Even when I had six mil polyethylene on the roof structure of this, I would freeze in just about when the outdoors froze, other than some thermal radiation for my thermal mass in here. But the reality is six mil polycarbonate, when you're over a mile high, there's just too much radiative losses. So you had to have some something with some insulation. So the next thing I did was two layer glass. The problem with that was unless you went with um, unless you went with tempered glass, it would break. It would start to crack. It just wasn't a good solution with our wind and all the hail we get here. So it wasn't a good solution. And then I found that the PVC, the clear vinyl that Home Depot sells, it just shredded. I, I lost it like within a month here. And the same thing with the, the uh, polycarbonate that Home Depot sells. It just didn't last. So I finally bought some polycarbonate from China actually just to test that. So I got a little bit over here and it was just incredible. It was an absolute game changer. So that's why uh, I resolve for all my greenhouses to go with multi-layer polycarbonate. And the reason I go with four layer polycarbonate and all my other commercial greenhouses is because it rejects enough heat in the summertime that I don't have to use shade cloth but it gives a, a, so much better of an R value that extends the growing season. The four layer limits the amount of light that comes through in, in comparison with the two layer. But unless you're heating your greenhouse, you don't notice it in terms of the overall quantity of produce you get. You actually get just as much because you have a longer growing season without having to heat your greenhouse. So that's why I like the four layer. The prepper community, DIY, DIY kind of people, they all like the four layer and it just makes good sense. It's 71% transmissibility and 2.22 R value for the eight millimeter four layer. Anyway, I just wanted to explain that to you why I decided on polycarbonate for my greenhouses and specifically the multi-layer, the four layer. I actually carry two layer to sell 
Uh, I have corrugated. I have a lot of different styles that I've used, but for my greenhouses, I just like the four layer eight millimeter. It works well and it's a good bang for the buck. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.